everyone, I'm going to talk about the Silver Rush with the use of NFTs, which can be a good strategy now because of these two NFTs, Artisan Guild and Sylvester, along with other various NFTs that can make this strategy even more powerful. The purpose of this video is to inform you on the utility of these NFTs and give you my opinions on what I think about the Silver Rush. I'm going to show you various different kinds of setups for the Silver Rush. The better ones will, of course, use more NFTs and you'll be able to get an idea of how much silver per hour you can make, which will also give you an idea of how much cash per hour you can make. This first idea right here utilizes two NFTs, and that is the Artisan Guild, which provides one passive copper ore and one passive silver ore to all the tiles adjacent to it. For the purpose of the Silver Rush, we are relying on the one passive silver ore that the Artisan Guild provides. The effects of this NFT are stackable, so if you were to have multiple Artisan Guilds, then it would provide the passive copper ore or passive silver ore multiple times. The other NFT is Sylvester. When this NFT is placed in your town, it provides one passive silver ore to all the forges in your town. This is a global effect. This effect cannot stack. So if you place down two Sylvester's, you will not get the effect the second time. It only works once. So there is no reason to use more than one Sylvester. The Sylvester building also comes with a panner Sylvester himself, and he can go to the silver panning sites and pick up silver ore and take them to the ore storage, just like a regular panner. For the sake of this silver rush, we do not need to have silver panning sites because we are getting one passive silver ore from Sylvester and one passive silver ore from the Artisan Guild for these eight forges. So there is no need to have silver panning sites or ore storage. The forges only need wood in order to craft silver. So this is our first design right here. And like I said, we only need wood and we need a lot of it in order to make as much silver as possible. So this design features many trees over here. We have five loggers to pick up all the wood and this applies just barely more than enough wood uh, than what we need. This setup is making 1730 silver per hour which would net you 3.32 million cash per hour. Since the upcoming competition has silver cash boosted for the bracelet meta you would actually be making eight 0.65 million cash per hour for that competition. This is a lot of money, but the problem with Silver Rush is the amount of items that are crafted. You need to have a way to sell a lot of items, and more than likely this will cost a lot of gas if you don't have access to a freight pier. If the biome doesn't come with a waterway such as a river or an ocean, you will not be able to build a freight pier, which would have let you sell items in batches of 100. No, instead you will need to rely on trade depots or the express depot which sells items in batches of 10 and it also consumes one gasoline for every batch that you sell so if you are making 1730 silver per hour you would need 173 gasoline per hour in order to accommodate all the cells for this setup right here i am running a double gasoline setup so i am making all the gasoline that i would need in order to keep up with all the sales and I'm also running multiple trade depots. That way I never have silver waiting for a trade depot in order to sell it. Before I move on to the next setup, if you are interested in purchasing the Artisan Guild, you can use the link in the description of the video to go to the Galley Games website and purchase it from the Galley Games store. Using my link will help support the channel, so I appreciate that a lot. This is the second design, and I know it looks just like the first design, but there are two editions. The first edition is a full set of Miranda skin NFTs. If you have one NFT from each of the Miranda skin packs, so it's a total of 10 different NFTs, then you get the total benefit of a 10% faster craft time bonus and a 25% movement speed bonus to everything. So that includes silver and the forge workers and the loggers, the tree farms, 
everything. So that is a huge benefit in any situation. And the second addition is the silver crafty knowledge blueprint. In this case, I am using the legendary version of it. And this provides a 16% craft time reduction to silver and other silver related crafts. Depending on the rarity, it will provide a different percentage. But if you have the full set of Miranda skins and that blueprint active, the craft time for silver in the forge should be either eight seconds or seven seconds, depending on the rarity of the blueprint. In this case, silver is crafted in seven seconds, so it is much faster. So this test is giving me about 2,120 silver per hour is what I noted down. That's about 4.07 million cash per hour. Or for the upcoming competitions and silver is cash boosted, that would be 10.6 million cash per hour. A double gas setup might not be enough here because by the looks of my petroleum production i would eventually run out of gasoline or i would only be able to sell up to 2100 silver per hour so it will be very close might be more ideal to run a triple gas production setup and that would mean having two more refineries one more crafting gasoline and one more crafting petroleum you have the oil seep so that's why i'm able to craft so much gas in this situation if you didn't have a way to have passive crude oil then you wouldn't make enough gas to sell all this silver unless you were able to use a freight beer now for the third design it compacts the entire silver rush to basically this section because i am using the green forge which doesn't have a wood requirement in order to craft the silver and that makes it so that i don't need all these tree farms or the ponds to give those tree farms passive water or the extra roads and i don't need any loggers because i'm not cutting any wood for these forges this does also make the silver fully passive since as soon as a worker comes back to the forge it immediately Immediately starts crafting silver and this saves time as well because it doesn't need to wait on the wood so the silver production rate is actually higher now and I have also added the green dragon express to this design because whenever you're making this much silver you probably want a way to sell it quicker with the green dragon express I am able to sell all the silver that I am producing here if I were to rely on gas only I, I think I would need a quad gas setup so basically this done twice over here so i'd have four refineries making petroleum four refineries making gasoline and maybe extra trade depots just to sell all of the silver that i'm making alternatively like i mentioned if this had a waterway i could just use a freight here and i could still sell all of the silver with probably one standard gasoline setup and one freight beer also the green forges do not cast any negative proximity effects whereas the regular forges cast too dirty and the green dragon express will allow you to sell items in a batch of 25 at a time instead of 10 at a time and it does not consume gasoline whenever you trade and the trade time is actually half of the standard amount so for this scenario and the upcoming competition the trade time is 40 seconds with a trade depot so the green dragon express only takes 20 seconds to complete a trade in order to get and use the green dragon express you need to have all 10 different miranda's vouchers and if you have them in your inventory then you will be able to utilize the green dragon express the green dragon express needs to be placed either on an open world edge like this or on a waterway it cannot be placed next to a mountain as of recording this video if you compare it to the first design then this requires much less space and it is much easier to actually set up because when you think about it all of this can be nfts now for the paved roads i'm actually using nfts but it doesn't matter regular paved roads will do the same the green forges are nfts artisan guild and sylvester we already said those were nfts in this case the warehouses are not nfts but there are also nft warehouses that i could have used that basically would have made this entire setup doable with only nfts and if you were to only use the green dragon express to sell everything you can have this entire setup ready in a minute this setup is making about 2570 silver per hour that is 4.94 million cash per hour or for the next competitions and silver is cash boosted that's 12.85 million cash 
per hour. Now this setup is not cheap by any means since it requires a lot of NFTs to pull off, but as you can see, it's very powerful. Now, if you think this is as powerful as it gets, you're wrong. You can actually make this more powerful with even more NFTs and we'll try that out in this next design. This is the fourth and final design for the Silver Rush with all the applicable NFTs that I have to make this as powerful as it can be. So this has added three more NFTs or three different kinds of NFTs. The first kind is the Arcane Earrings, which there are two rarities. There's the rare one and then there's the epic one. So the rare Arcane Earrings adds a 2.5% craft time reduction to all the crafts made in the forge. It might not be noticeable for silver if you're only using one, but if you're using many of the epic ones especially, then you will notice a difference. But the rare one also adds a 10% increased movement speed to all of the workers in the forge so the epic one does the same but it has a uh, higher numbers so it adds a 10 percent craft time reduction to all the crafts in the forge and a 50 percent faster movement speed so these earrings these arcane earrings do stack up to four times they are part of what's known as the arcane artifacts set of nfts so the arcane artifacts set of nfts stack up to four of them it can be the same ones like the earrings it can be different ones like the earrings and the ring which is not used in this example since you don't need it for this example right here i am using three of the epic arcane earrings and one of the rare arcane earrings since that's what i have i am also using this second nft over here it's called the corrupted luxury open pack when this nft is applied it grants a one percent craft time reduction to everything in the town you can apply up to 10 of these for a maximum of a 10 percent boost this is similar to what the miranda skins do uh if you have a full set of 10 it provides a 10 percent craft time reduction it doesn't apply a movement speed though just the craft time reduction for the corrupted packs but they do stack with the miranda skins so if you have the corrupted packs applied as well as several of these earrings applied it further reduces the craft time of silver so my silver craft time in this example is now four seconds. I've also added both of the warehouse NFTs here to increase the storage capacity of this design because it gets to the point where the if you're using a regular warehouse with only 20 capacity the warehouse will get full and it will actually slow down the silver production since the forge worker has to go to the other warehouse to deposit the silver so i believe this way with the increased warehouse capacity it is faster so that is the third nft that i have added uh, there are two different versions of the warehouse nft first is the big warehouse which normally has a capacity of 60 uh, it stores every Thing that a normal warehouse would store and then there's the diamond warehouse which has a capacity of 40 and it doubles the capacity of all the other normal warehouses or the big warehouse that's why you see this big warehouse right here have 120 capacity instead of 60 capacity because it's being doubled by the diamond warehouse the diamond warehouse doesn't cast any shade the big warehouse casts two shades same as the regular warehouse i've also changed up the road design here utilizing more of a subgrid design that way i can have some of the forges right next to the warehouse so it's even quicker and i would also have more space to use in order to place down the arcane earrings because the arcane artifacts only take up one quarter of a space so you can have all four of them taking up one tile if you wish to do so but this little setup right here allows me to place them in that gap since i've created a gap since i'm using a road and the warehouse like this to have it right next to the forges so this design is making me about 4,300 silver per hour. That's what I noted down. That is 8.25 million cash per hour. Or for the upcoming competition with the silver cash boost, they would be 21.5 million cash per hour. It is a lot of silver. So if you're not utilizing a freight pier or a Green Dragon Express with the gasoline production, you're not going to be able to sell all of that silver. If you happen to have two Green Dragon Express, 
processes, I suppose then you wouldn't need to have the gasoline production because yeah, there's a lot of silver involved here that you would need to sell. Now, I believe this is about as powerful as this silver rush gets. It can be scaled up though. If you happen to have another eight green forges and another artisan guild, you could basically copy this, do the same thing right next to it, and that would essentially double your silver production. You could get numbers as high as 8,000 silver production if you were to do that. Heck, you could even do the same thing over here if you happen to have another eight green forges and another artisan guild and bring it up to 12,000 silver production per hour. So long as you're able to sell all of it uh, at that point you would probably need a couple freight gears gasoline production i don't think somebody would have enough dragons to sell that much silver but yeah these are crazy numbers you can get so much cash doing this it is literally all nfts to set this up if you don't have to deal with gas production and even then there are ways to make the gas production set up almost entirety entirely with nfts with the exception of the fuel storage as of right now this is one of the most powerful cash rushes in the game now that i've tested this it is one of the most easy ones to set up as well but it requires of course a lot of nfts i would compare this rush strategy to jam rush since that one is also powerful it can be scaled up a lot but it does require a lot of nfts in order to do so now personally i'm going to love pulling off the silver rush in the upcoming competition and i will probably run this setup right here more often since it's very easy to set up i think that it's a great nft to have if you also have sylvester if you don't have sylvester it doesn't make sense to use the artisan guild and if you have sylvester and green forges it makes sense to pick up an artisan guild i hope you found this helpful or informative if you did leave a like leave a comment feel free to let me know what you think about this silver rush strategy or what you think about the artisan guild nft consider subscribing if you haven't done so and like i mentioned earlier if you're planning to purchase this from the gala game store you can use my link in the description of the video it'll help out so much as always i appreciate your support and thank you for watching